Hi everyone, I'm Mike. Welcome to the Satellite of Love and this week's experiment. I'm a little out of breath, just hold on a second. The, uh, the bots have been running me through a heap of bad movies, kind of in training for this week's actual experiment. Come on, Mike, we haven't got all day. The proverbial hour is nigh, if you know what I mean. I know, training's been a little rigorous on you, new yep, boy, but yep. dig down deep, buddy. Yeah, 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 cause compared to today's experiment, the beast of Yucca Flat was just a cakewalk. <laughs> I only hope I can do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, buck up, new meat. Thanks, Tom. That's crow. Thanks, Tom. Right. <laughs> Look, you quipped your way through Night of the Lepus, but this is the real thing, son. This is the big time. Mark Singer walks out in the loincloth. What do you say? Uh, the, quick, quick, now quick. I know why the show is called V. Ah. Good, good. Not bad. Okay, Meatball, word association. Robert Lippert. Uh, good. No. Bad. I meant yeah. bad. Well, <laughs> very good, Mike. Your training's not been wasted, but there's just one thing we've got to know. One last piece to the puzzle. Here we go. Sid Melton. Answer is... Little Monkey Boy. Hey. Bravo, Mr. Nielsen! It's Nelson. And we'll be Ooh. right back. Is that my line? Don't push it. It's All right. Sorry. You ready? Sure. Seemed pretty nonchalant. I've achieved a state of clear. Huh. Neat. Well, anyway, the oh. Mads are calling. Yeah. yeah. So we just hop to? Yeah. <laughs> Let them wait. Really? Radical. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, Mr. Nelson, Mr. El Relaxo. That's nice. Maybe I'll just have you do your invention exchange first. First, you hear me? First! Great. Huh? Good luck, buddy. Yep, take it away, Mark. That's Mike. Whatever. Well, anyway, I've always been annoyed by umbrellas, the way the water just washes off and gets your back all wet anyway. I, I didn't know that about umbrellas. That's right, so mm. I've added a gutter system around the outside edge and a spout leading down. Toward your shoes. The crow. What? Great Scott, he's right. No, 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 I've got that covered too. You just pointed out the back. Well, look at that. Look, this, is, this is a good idea. Simple. Definitely simple. No, but good. Ooh. Can you make me one? Sure. Hey, at a go, man. Hey, what do you call it? Uh, how about the gutter bumber shoot? Hey, the gutter cool. bumber shoot. I like it. Hey, hey. gutter bumber shoot. Hey, gutter bumber shoot. Woohoo! Gutter bumber shoot. Gutter bumber shoot. Gutter bumber shoot. Woohoo! Oh, good God. Calm down. It's just an umbrella with gutters. Now, here's how you do an invention exchange, Mitch. It's a beautiful day. You're out for a walk when you spy some porcine, freckled bratling enjoying himself just a bit too much. Oh, you'd love to run over and push him down and take his bike, but that can be risky. <laughs> Enter Dr. Forrester's Dream Buster. You see those balloons? What this puppy does is set up a frequency of, well, it would take a scientist to explain. Just watch. It's got a range of 60 yards, and that's an invention exchange. Back up to you, Marv. So how am I supposed to react when he shows me that kind of stuff? Try to act impressed. Yeah. How? Well, it's what he's looking for. It's what he needs. Yours is a lot better. Yeah, I agree. You know, you simply used glue to attach those gutters. The more I think about it, the more beautiful it seems to me. Mike is a very nice name. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in a traveler's ad. <laughs> I'll tell. Mom! Mom. I'm your mother now, Frank. Ah, Greenhorn. It's almost time for your first experiment. These are experiments, you know. And you are a lab rat. Lab rat? <laughs> lab rat? <laughs> Send him the movie, Frank. Give me this. Good. Yeah, I'm a 
exciting. Uh, uh, Mike, yeah. you gotta bring Tom in. Why? Because he can't hover. There's a there's an oh. air grate there. Oh, God. Oh, I'll get him. I'm sorry, buddy. You're missing the movie! Sorry. That's so humiliating sorry. my life. I didn't know. How could I... These people will be exploring issues that are teens' issues. <laughs> right out I'm of the like, gate. You're doing yeah. pretty good, huh? Well, just get it time. Mm -hmm. By permission of Laurel Records. Oh, please, Laurel Records, let us use the web. Come on. <laughs> gaffer. So, so do you think a gaffer is just someone who keeps messing up? No, he's not a gaffer. He's a G-A-F. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like a Jenny Holzer piece to me. This music is fantastic. Just could you do the adagio? It's fantastic. Rex Carlton, court appointed lawyer. Huh. You know, I bet a lot of corned beef went down between these two. Mm. But for Joseph Green, there would come another film. <laughs> and now, our story. Eric. Look at this brain. See, it won't die. Just a normal Tuesday for Cher. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, uh, get that for me, would you? Splat. Come on, try harder. You can do better than that. Breathe, stupid, breathe. Hmm. Well, you're right, the liver isn't in the skull. <laughs> well, throw him on the pile. I should have known he was as good as dead when they wheeled him in. Because he got me as his doctor. He did everything possible, everything you could, Dr. Cody. Can I move my finger now? Everything. Everything except save my patient. He didn't do magic. Everything in the books. Well, I'm going to go get my ego out of the toaster oven. Anybody want one? Now, Dad, do I have permission to take over and try things my way? I have Adam. We'll make it a closed casket. The operating room is no place to experiment. He's dead. I can't do any harm. But what does turning them into clowns prove, John? Very well. The corpse is yours. Go in peace. Do what you want to do. Hmm. All right. Make an opening into the chest cavity. Apply 100 milliamps of current directly to the heart, then massage by hand. I'll handle the brain area. You are completely winging it, aren't you? By myself. Oh, geez, let the baby have his brain area. Oh, God, look at all the hair. Hey, surgeon, surgeon, hey, he's no hey. surgeon. Hey, bad, bad, bad. Jesus, man, had love in his tummy. Hey, he's stealing his nipple. Cool. License plate, a boot, tricycle wheel. This man was a bottom feeder. You really are new with this, aren't you, Dad? Hey. Hey, come here, you want to see something? Look what he's doing to this guy. Uh, what's the thing that looks like a mushroom? Oh, my thumb! <laughs> Are you tossing a salad down there? Hurry up! Open up my sleeve. Dad, I, I know this isn't a good time, but can I borrow the car tonight? Wow, it's not color-coded like the book was. <laughs> this reminds me, son. Did you make your stroganoff for dinner tonight? We find the music relaxes the corpse. Canvas small, a heavy rain would kill him. Got to work fast. If it isn't too late. The guy's a crowd pleaser. You talk as if he's still alive. He is. He's only mostly dead. I just picked up a faint pulse beat. Keep massaging the heart. I am, I am. Oh, that feels good. Electric shock should stimulate the motor area enough to innovate the heart again. Then he won't need any external stimuli. Keep away from the motor area. You'll paralyze him for good. <laughs> Which would you rather be, paralyzed or dead? Try to play God. Tag, and your God. The not yours to make. When the obstetrician has to decide which to save the mother or the child, who plays God then? He's pregnant, too? It's part of the game. The game? The human body's not a jigsaw puzzle to experiment on. It's Ganipkin out. Playing it safe like the other doctors, hmm? Yeah, jag off. Save my breath. Keep massaging the heart. You've already lost your patient, Doctor. I'm going to save mine. Ooh, that stung. Hope is coming back stronger than ever. Thank you, Grandma. Unbelievable. I think it's unbelievable if you have the nerve to experiment. I've been working on something like this for weeks. 
In your laboratory? Yes, my laboratory. I knew this would work if only I had the opportunity. You don't conduct experiments on people. You should be sure of the results. Then they wouldn't be experiments. Yeah. I am now. Stop massaging the heart. You're enjoying it too much. Let's see if it can take over by itself. Yep, I'll take it from here. <laughs> Luke, join me or you'll star in Corbett Summer. All right. Close up the chest. Zip! <laughs> I'm about to finish with the cerebral area. Oh, we'll leave his area alone. How's his pulse? Strong and steady. Oh, it's real strong and steady, don't you know? <laughs> Harry, look. What the hell is this? It's a long one. Boy, stringy, too. Here, put your finger right there. I'm giving him a little piping. I think it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, you did perform a miracle. I may not approve of your methods, but... The fans seem to like it. I am proud of your results. These things did. Anyway, I can't find it. I think my class rings in, in him. No, oh, don't worry. We'll get it later. Someone should have invented the IV stand. And take it easy in the hallways. And so the little fellow was wheeled into post op for close observation. I I love you, Dad. I love you, son. Hey, you're not my dad. You're Hitler. That was an amazing, even an extraordinary operation, son. But it still is too risky. To uncontrolled. Oh, don't start, old man. Saved his life. And the after effects? What about them? What about them? They're fun. You've lost the <laughs> urge to experiment, to explore. Order up. I need those onion rings on the fly. You know, they're doctors, but they do puppet shows, too. Oh, Judy! <laughs> don't explore on people. Before you put a scalpel to one, an operation like this needs testing under every condition. Yeah. You want mail? Over and over again. Rabbits, mice, monkeys. Humpty back camels. Not people. That man who should be dead now won't think so. What do you say to that, huh? There's more to surgery than just being a carpenter to patch up walls. Or a plumber to drain pipes. Or a muffin baker to bake muffins. Our bodies are capable of adjusting in ways we've hardly dreamt of. Can we not talk shop? We can only find the key. I'm so close now, so very close. You're different, son. The key to what? Complete transplantations. Mm. To be able to transplant limbs and organs. To boldly go where no man... To be able to replace diseased and damaged parts of the body as easily as we replace eye corneas now. I'll call them snap-tight limbs. So that the new parts will join together as though they were born there. And rule the world. Can't be done. It can be done. Can't. Can. My new special compound I've created, I'll do it. I know I can do it. Sure, sure, that's what you say. That's what I know. Mm. I know I'm close. Mm. <laughs> what do you want? Darling, I'm so proud of you, I could kiss you. Well, that's promise. Nice. And your name huh? is? Always promise it. <laughs> Careful, your father's liable to report us. Mm. <laughs> Stop the floor show. When you two are married, it won't be fun to watch anymore. Ooh, oh, Daddy, well, that's thing, late your night. Your grandchildren won't be test tube babies. What does that mean? You better hurry if you want to catch that plane to Denver, Dad. You know that medical convention can't start without you. You're the MC. Uh, Jan, you'd uh, better check about my reservations. Oh, yes, I'll call the airport. I'll be right back. She's red hot, son. Bill. Honey. The line between scientific genius and obsessive fanaticism is a thin one. I want you on the right side. If I don't experiment, how can I hope to perform operations like the one you almost messed up? But I can't cover up for you anymore. The superintendent had it out with me. He thinks it's you who's been stealing those limbs from the amputee operation. Mm. So what if it is? It's mildly unethical. I've got to have limbs for my transplant experiments. They're delicious. Well, you man. said test an experiment. Test an experiment. Yes, but limbs and organs taken from people. I've got to have them to work with. Come on, give me the keys to the morgue, Dad. Sure, I've made a few mistakes. Oops. But I've learned from them. I've learned. So you've learned, then. <laughs> Your reservations are all set. 3.30 takeoff. Anything else? Well, what have you two planned for the weekend? 
Oh, nothing much. Mm. A quiet <laughs> weekend. You sure you're not going up to the country house? We have a country house? You're always sneaking off up there. <laughs> place gives me the creeps. I, I should have sold it when your mother died. You can't sell that place. Wait, mother's dead? Well, I mean, it's nice to get away from the city. I can work without anyone snooping around. You spend too much time up there. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'll see you both in a few days. Got to clean up and get out of here. And I don't want you reanimating anything, young man. Aww. Fine operation or not, Bill. You're walking on thin ice. Don't go too far. And don't cry over spilled milk. And don't count your chicks before they hatch. I'm out of here. Your dad's such a boner. Oh, every time you touch me, I go out of my mind. But please wash your hands. Tissue. Tissue, all right. Bill, I want to get married. I can't stand not having you. You've been wonderful. I'd rather be a bride. In a few more weeks, nothing will keep us apart. We'll be together. Doodly, doodly, doodly. We're apart! <laughs> oh, you taste like Vince Edwards. Sylvia Plath, RN. <whistles> Taxi! Dr. Cordner. Could you pee in the bell jar, please? Whoa. I'm so glad you're here. I was afraid you'd gotten away. There was a very important phone message that came to you. It sounded quite urgent. I've been looking everywhere. Mm. It was from a man called Kurt. He called from the country place, and he said something terrible has happened. He wanted you to come right out. Thank you. But I'm too cool for emergencies. Well, you've always wanted to know what's kept me away from you so many weekends. Hmm. Have you got the keys to your car? Uh, the answer, yes. She has the keys to the car. Yes, the long, long trailer. Sid and Nancy, American style. Why haven't you ever taken me up here before? Because the things I'm working on don't need an audience. It's performance. That telephone call. What about it? All right, all right. Hold off the questions. Why the mystery, Bill? What's it all about? We'll be there soon enough. You'll see. Now shut up. You're my trophy wife. I've got to hurry. Chuck us to the floor. Hurry! Nick Mancuso is Stingray. A sign left by ancient astronauts. You'll enjoy the tight suspension of the Mercury Comet. I think I'll have a Papa Burger, you? Man, I want a pair of those chuckas. Honey, can we stop at Grandma Sneakers? Can we stop at the Turks Inn? No. Can we stop at the Big Steer? No. Or can we stop at Cranberry Co? No. Is he chasing James Dean? Wow, that was my prom theme. <laughs> What's this? Our fanatical physician and his fickle fiance speeding to their country cottage? That's really good. Uh, uh, Mrs. Webb, uh, you're doing very well. Uh, careful now, Mrs. Webb. Uh, stay, uh, you're over the center line, Mrs. Webb. Uh, uh... I've got to hurry. <laughs> stop sign, one stop sign. A curve, one curve. Uh... Ah, the road is attacking me! We now join Barefoot in the Park, already in progress. Look out, look out, look out! Oh, Leader of the pack. Oh, man, I'm really tired from the crash. Honey? Honey? Well, this should be too. Oh, honey, what are you doing? Ew. Diarrhea is like a storm raging inside you. Well, we shouldn't have eaten a Jack in the Box. <laughs> Hi, I'm William Proxmire. How you doing? Put it there. <laughs> it actually smells good. Ooh. Honey roasted. Honey roasted. Here, put this on. It'll keep you warm. Would you give me that back? It makes you look tall. Is that what? Oh, oh that's her head. Oh, oh. yuck. D don't forget my purse, honey. Uh, uh, the rest of it's pretty crispy. Well, you just had to go fast, didn't you? Well, look, Mr. Big Shot, now I don't have a body anymore. Are you happy? 
guys, I remember his fiance as being taller. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you so bloody much. I just realized what I did. It's really gross. Ooh. at the 20, he's at the 10, no one will catch him. He's either gonna win the Nobel Prize or the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> what if people get the wrong idea? This could really be taken wrong. Gotta get out of here now. Hi, doctor, how you doing there? No, no, no problem, no head. Oh, hey, Cambot, uh, bring it down here, okay? Come on, buddy. Up, you pedal, just yank it out. Don't worry about the wires. Nah, he doesn't know what he's doing. You don't know what you're doing, do you, Mike? You guys, I've been studying the manuals ever since I got here. Uh -huh. I figure if we can gain control of the inertial guidance system, yeah. we got a chance of getting out of here. Yeah. Anybody know what this does? Uh, nope. No, no way. I don't think it's important anyway. Oh, and just get rid of it. Yeah. Just cut the big red cable. Try so that. So what do you want to leave so bad? You just got here. Red You've been watching the same movie I have, right? Yeah. The man's got to try, fellas. I just... Hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mess down here. There's old sandwiches, Tom. You got like one, two... No, there's like four heads down here. Did you know that? Uh, sure. There's a dozen copies of the Picardian. Hey, those are mine. Those are going to be valuable one day. The big red cable, Mike. Just cut it. Which one is about 20? Um, the green one. Okay. Ah! Oh, 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 gee, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, gee, that's my fault. That was the uh, cheese compressor line. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you guys, I don't think we're going to gain control from here. Of course we're not. Yeah, heck no. We tried that a year ago. Well, why didn't you tell me, geez, wasting all this time? Well, Mike, because... Because if you find a way out, then you'll go and you'll leave us all alone up here and we'll, you'll be gone. Yeah. And guys, I'm trying to figure out a way to get us all out of here, okay? Oh, so, so like, if you find a big box marked ham dingers... Guys, not... there are no more boxes marked ham dingers, I know that. Oh. Look, I promise I won't leave you, okay? Okay. Come on, cheer up. Okay. Cheese fight. <laughs> Oh, oh, geez. Geez. oh, hey, cut it out. It's fun. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. What? what is it, Gypsy? It's not cheese. Oh. Oh. Well, if it's not cheese, what is it? It tastes like cheese. Yeah. I don't like it. All right, all right, we're going to take over the door. I'm coming. Hey, it's Johnny Tremaine. <laughs> Keep your head on, I'm coming. <laughs> You won't believe the day I've had. What happened to you? It was a terrible accident. I've got to save her. I've got to save her. What is it? Hmm? What have you got there? Kirk, please. It's mine. The tubes and instruments, quickly. What are you going to do? Aren't you going to have a look in the closet first? No, I can't now. This is more important. But you don't understand. For God's sake, Kirk, this is urgent. Do as I tell you before it's too late. I can't waste precious time arguing with you. How was my day? Oh, it's not important. <laughs> no time to mourn. Got to get to work. Okay, and pencils down. How much did you risk? Ooh. This will give my Pinot Noir the tawny nose I've been looking for. So, he's a scientist then? Pretty much. Oh, is it honey he's putting in the KC Masterpiece sauce? Dude, it's wiring his lab for quad. Prologic. Yeah. Man, I am tearing through the brawny. <laughs> Should I? Hmm. Well, two, three. Ah, oh, cripes, that looks about right. As long as I'm close. It's rocket science. I wonder how Dad's doing in Denver. Hope his flight was okay. Bet he's gonna turn her into Mrs. Olsen. Yeah. Oh, that flask has an has an hourglass figure. It's hot. <laughs> oh. Really? Well, his methods are unusual, but his coffee is great. Yeah, a little of this couldn't hurt. What the hell? Oh, you put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Mm. 
I say, Doctor, it's Dark Man. <laughs> Darn it. Now time to make my own Baileys. With a Matthews clock, you always know what time it is. Now back to our food. This is the most complicated beer bong I've ever seen. <laughs> An American in vitro. They saved Sister Patrill's brain. <laughs> Boss, you've broken the goofy meter again. I saw the move. Got me. Well, she won't be able to do any heavy lifting for a while. My eyes are deceiving me. What you see is real. What you smell is unfortunate. What's done is done, and what I've done is right. Hmm? It's the work of science. Science? Thought you said pizza. Mm. Could you scratch my nose, honey? She talks like clutch cargo. Clutch. Doesn't she need lungs? No, she's got neck juice. Oh. Sorry. Oh, you're welcome, honey. I've had success with transplants. Now I can do it for her. Hmm? I can change her hair color, give her a complete makeover. Oh. Transplant her to what? Larry Storch. Brought her back. She'll live and I'll get her another body. I can make her complete again. A little shorter, maybe, but Only still. A madman can believe that she could ever be like before. Don't argue with me. Okay. I love her too much to let her stay like this. I'll restore her as before. You'll see. Can't you realize? Can't you see? There's a pattern to all that lives. Uh -huh. An order, an arrangement. She had a heart and a brain. A and the spirit was in both, not in one or the other. No, no she's a paperweight. Ooh. I'll give her a brain and a heart. Yes, and what of her soul? It's in the car. Say you love her. You can remember her love for you. As you can see, folks, no strings, and no mirrors. Can you make of her an experiment of horror? Shut up, man. You're lucky my chick's All the here. The skill and science I possess was meant for this. Life has a pattern. The whole pattern of my life is shaping itself to save her now. Then you intend to go through with it? Yes. Well, at least you don't have delusions of grandeur or anything. Sleep, my darling. Rest and grow stronger. Can I get a neck pillow, hon? Okay, now quiet, Kurt. I just put her down for the night. Mm -hmm. Come here. I've got a great idea for a practical joke. Put her neck How long in do you water. think we can keep her alive under these conditions? Till she gets pants sores, I guess. Fifty hours at the most. Yes. Ooh. And you really believe you can work a transplant on her? Successfully, yes. Uh, no. Like my arm. Wither and deform. His left hand's pretty bad, too. Yours was an early <laughs> experiment that failed. With her, I'm using my new adreno serum. Oh, the neck juice. Must work. It's got no fat and half the salt. I've got to go now. If the police or anyone call... Have her get it. Tell them you don't know anything about it. Honey. I don't think anyone will trace us here because her body was burned in the wreckage. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Look, Bill, before you go. Uh, could you give me a sponge you bath? Have a look in that I... closet. It's the reason why I called you up here. Oh, so that's why you had me kill my girlfriend so I could see that closet? It looks really nice in there. I got a new organizer and everything. Godspeed, my friend. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Shh, 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 You knuckle knob, what do you have in here? Sounds like crazy Guggenheim's in there. Hello, hello. Looks like the soupy sales show. Hello, 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 hello. Ooh, Bill and Thomas' last moments on Earth. Keep it locked. And keep the litter box clean. It got so violent it almost broke out. Oh. Oh, not for 
with that sickness. Keep it closed. I thought you'd love it. Didn't you see the hat I put on it? Well, thank you for showing me that. It made my day a little bit brighter. Her now. <laughs> Got to find her a body. How are you going to go about getting one? I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. Bill, how are you doing? There are ways. <laughs> there are ways. Lots of ways. Many ways. Did I mention there are ways? Ways. Hey, he walked all the way to Paris. Mm -hmm. Say, this may actually be an upgrade. <laughs> She can't have a cardboard body. I've ruled that out. My name is Dirk. What's yours? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the one big silver lining of my day. Well, it's nice and all, but I want something sleazy. If Jack Ruby owned a Denny's. I hope that's not Rosemary. Hey, look, the panel from What's My Line is behind her there. <laughs> Paste is in a G-string, beer in a shot, boil them to a shot glass, buffalo squeeze. <laughs> uh, he's helping me, I'm fine. Our soup of the day is cauliflower or gratin. Today's special is Salisbury steak and German potato salad. Oh, well, I'll just see a menu, thank you. I am the menu. I'm just curious, so what size collar do you wear? <laughs> Senior Wences and Evita, out on the town. <laughs> Talk to your hand. Welcome to the Diet Arbus Cafe. A night on the town in Escanaba, Michigan. This dance represents that there are no baked potatoes till after five. Jojo was a man who thought he was a woman. <laughs> the spokesmodel competition. Huh. Rocky Ra Graziano. I must have blood before the night is done. Hey, gang, there's a snuff film playing over at the Rialto. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait for me. <laughs> uh, M Mr. Graziano, can I have your autograph? I'm getting sentimental over you. Oi, what a shift. <laughs> He's rocking. Who would have thought a few hours earlier he was cradling his wife's head in his lap? The 1958 Floozy. Hi, have you seen my chests? So, you a goer, eh? Goer, nudge, nudge, know what I mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, at Kurt Cobain's house. Oh. Dave is such a dink for not letting me die. He's keeping her alive with Grey Poupon. Boy, that was an important scene, huh? <laughs> so you're, you're saying you're not into dismemberment? Well, back into the broom closet. And here's Abe Burroughs and Jimmy Hoffa entertaining Eleanor Roosevelt. Don't wait up, everyone. Oh, ma'am, may I pour you a buttock, uh, a d nip drink? What took you so long? What made you think I'd come? You know a good thing when you see it. Yeah, there was plenty to see. And the skillet scrambler was no choice. I like your act. Is that all you like? Well, your costume, what there was of it, was interesting. 
Is that all? Well, I liked your Nicholson impression. The rest of the equipment is standard. But, uh, the arrangement is pretty special. Oh, by Elia Kazan. You know, tourists just looking at this place. What are you doing here, Lummy? Well, I get my allowance once a week. Okay, if you're so loaded, you pay for the drink. I already did. Oh, I ate your shift meal, Are you too. hustling for the house? I hustle for myself. Oh, sorry I offended you. You really have a lot of integrity. <laughs> I'm the leading lady around here. I can sit with the squares out front, or I can relax back here with my friends. I'll bet you don't have an enemy in the world. Well, I had a falling out with Delta Burke. Who hasn't? Hi, I'm Casey Kasem. This one goes out to a heartsick lover with a severed head. Finally, I'm a size eight. Let me die. Are you still on that kick? Come on, pull yourself up by the collar tabs and get a job. Let me die. After you've cleaned your room. To recap, let me die. Where are you from? around just looking around. around when you get done looking then what i operate i get your message you're coming across so uh what do you do you could flip any chick in the house why me why not scramble me well, like i said i'm looking but you don't have to look any further Ooh. i'm not gonna fake it for you when do you go on again hmm? when <laughs> Relax. I got another show yet, but it could be for you. Oh, I was just asking. I don't feel good. Try taking. Oh. I'm getting nervous. I'm over 21. 21? She's over 41. Oh, it isn't that. It's... I just got things to do. Things to take care of. Well, if I don't exactly make you sick, what could be more important that could be taken care of right now? Are you coming on to me? Well, I've, uh, oh. I've got to see about helping somebody. Uh, uh, somebody who needs my help very Hey, this, this is <laughs> sick. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. That one, you got me feeling so good. I'm so warm all over. I'm good for you. I know I'm good for what They are talking want. about sex, aren't they? Really? You may be just what I'm looking for. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lucy Arnez is back, and she's pissed. You've got your nerve. Oh, look who's talking. Why don't you haul your feet up, body back to the bar with the rest of the flies? Keep your G-string on. I only came in here to change my clothes. I got Don't you know what? No, I'd like to see the rest of the show. Come back in half an hour, and maybe you will. Good oh. Lord. Could you get rid of your dad? Hi, little boy. Same I to you. the queen. Hey, come here, don't hide. You know, you've got the kind of face a girl doesn't mind looking at. Huh. Even out front, all the other girls are asking about you. Really? What'd they say? Get out of here, two's company, three's a crowd. Zing. Who's to tell me to blow if I don't want to? This here's my dressing room, too, yeah. remember? It kills her to see me make time. You're the only thing that's going to be made around here tonight. Honey. Eat your heart out. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'd better be going. It's been sleazy and all, but. Uh... What for? Look what you've done. You come back and. Oh, no 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 no, 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 no. He says, don't you, don't, don't, don't you. Freeze. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Lousy tramp. Once in a blue moon, I walked into a bar with class, and you messed it up. What? And what makes you think you had it? He wouldn't have you on his bed. Says who? Says me. Mm-hmm. What's a guy like that? What was he left over for? Leftovers? Uh-oh. Shannon oh, Doherty, no! <laughs> yes, Danny Bonaducci in the fight of his life. Uh, this is grotesque. I gotta get out of here. Take us out of here. Oh, no, finally oh, no. something I can really get please, behind. Why don't please. you guys? Oh, no. no get okay, I'm out of here. Meow. 
Well, new feller, gotta hand it to you. <laughs> you got us going on a project right away. <laughs> Having us design hats for the lady in the movie, yeah. why you? <laughs> you know, I just feel so sorry for her. Everything she must be going through, huh. her fiance is mental. And she's lost her independence. No, not to mention trying to minimize her major figure flaw. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've always thought that the right hat can make you look and feel terrific. And that's why for her, I designed a, a bowling bag hat. Mm. She can zip it around herself and just be toted anywhere. That's <laughs> really clever yeah. there. You know, my idea was simply a, a crown for that regal Catherine Hepburn lion in winter look. Oh. Oh. Johnny gets the crown. Personally, I can't wear hats, but I thought she'd look neat in my Chianti hat. Oh, mm, wow. that is neat, yeah. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. You know, as a fellow woman, I knew she'd want to create the illusion of height, so I came up with this crown roast hat. Ooh, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Neat. Which also serves six. By the side of uh, snow peas and new potatoes. Mm. Well, I hope you like this one. I worked really hard on it. Well, to did. me, it, it sounded really cool to give her a kinetic ball hat. What, what do you know? Real conversation starter. <laughs> I put it on the desk and all. <laughs> and it works. Uh, this raspberry beret just screamed fun to me. <laughs> well, let me just say that form follows function in my lazy Susan hat. This way, she's really the center of attention at any dinner function. <laughs> center of <laughs> <laughs> dinner with the... Oh. <laughs> Well, fun, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah fun. Yeah. I don't know. I just have this feeling she's really a shoes person. Well, that was my project. Anyway. No, it was very good. Yeah, was Thank fun, you. In fact, the closet. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> what has he done to you? What hasn't he done to me? <laughs> I know there's someone there. She's trying to out someone that doesn't want to be outed. Mm. Knock once if you hear me. Knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. <gasps> oh, good. They're making friends. Battery acid? You're soaking in it. It's like a pork hog. Jan in the pan, are you still here? Uh, dog, darn it, I always sit down my coffee and then lose it. Uh, it's the rabbit mug. And I'm not the first. Not twice if I'm not the first. Oh, this is hot. Hot. Let me die. Oh, are you still on that? Well, we've got problems too, lady. I hate him for what he's done to me. Which is? You only know what it's like being like this. Oh, as if you're the only one who ever got their head cut off. Quit whining. Do you know what it's like? Hey, it's lights out down there. Jeez. Together we could have revenge. Revenge, a Dish best served. Oh, oh sh What revenge? No, oh, I want to sleep. Will you shut up? Hmm. I want to join in their conversation, but I don't know what to say. I wonder if Silk Stockings is on yet. Just free-forming here. My brain's still untouched. And his keeping me alive has given me a power he didn't count on. The power of Matthew Starr. Power that you can feel. Across this room and through that door. To grandmother's house we go. Can't you? I'll tell them a joke I heard on Arsenio last night. <laughs> oh, I sat on someone's hand. He leaves his experiments lying all over the house. Get me the president. Together we're both more than things. We're a power as hideous as our deformities. Speak for yourself. Together we'll wreak our revenge. Well, you already reek. <laughs> I shall. Create power, and you will enforce it. 
That's nice, honey. Look, I'm going to turn in. The thing inside. Leave this thing out here. Great. You know, you should come to our Tuesday night group. I've got it. If I wander around here some more, it'll keep the budget down. Yes, yes. I'm going to make a decision. No, no. Bill Clinton yep. in the Oval Office. That's it. No, it isn't. Yes. No. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. Yo. Yes. Hi, you decent? <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael. I was gonna make some popcorn. Do you want it? Oh, oh yeah. Anybody seen my wallet? Uh, oh, don't get up. I'll find it. Oh, don't mind me. Just keep doing whatever it was you were doing. Maybe she could get work in a Peter Gabriel video. Cool. Hello, Mr. Thing, if that's... Hello. I don't think there's anything. No! <laughs> if I had sides, they'd be splitting right now. I'm sorry, it was just really funny. Get your juice up there. Ooh, she's getting cradle cap. <laughs> What's locked behind that door? I don't know. What's locked behind All that right. door? <laughs> no normal mind can imagine. Something even more terrible than you. Oh, and our bicycles. Tell my deformed friend. Like all quantities, hmm? horror has its ultimate. And I'm that. Thing. There is a horror beyond yours. In there. It's Pauly Shore. <gasps> Locked behind that door. Beside which Carol Merrill is standing. Paths of experimentation twist and turn through mountains of miscalculation and often lose themselves in error and darkness. And sometimes things just screw up. Behind that door is the sum total of Dr. Courtney's mistakes. A guy named Murray. Well, I gotta roll. I'll see ya. He had no right to bring me back to this. Boy, you have a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> Who knows? But you should know. This operation's gonna cost an arm and a leg. Oh, no oh, one injected the serum into that. It was but a mass of grafted tissues. Ugh. Lifeless. Just lay there, Chicken weighted bones. down with its transplants of broken limbs and amputated arms. But with this serum... I thee wed. It began to breathe. It's impossible. You got a lozenge or something? Would you have thought possible what he's already done? He's worn plaid with stripes? Take yourself. Spark. <laughs> he's brought you back. You live. You live, Joel. Only a few years ago. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, watch the, the table there. Impossible. That's what he's been doing up here when no one could see his work. Yes. That and pouring at the Moulin Rouge. Experimenting with transplants on that. And on me. Letting him tear away my flesh time after time, test after test. But any job has its downside. Hopes shattering with each grafted arm he fastened to me. Watching it wither and warp. Why he gave my hand rich Corinthian leather, I'll never know. Strengthening. Look, you know they say there's always someone worse off? I'm that person. You see, he's learned from his mistakes. Guys, I think he likes her. I think he's going to ask her out. Oh. And you stayed with him, hmm. helping him in his grotesque work that he claims is for science. Hey, you were going to marry him, okay? A place for me on the outside with this world where eyes would look upon me with pity and people would turn away from me in disgust. And then I'd show my hand. Thank you. <laughs> no. One arm joke. <laughs> the alcoholic has his bottle. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, he does, just... The dope addict, his needle. The charcoalic, his godivas. I had my research. And I had my body. Could you change my neck juice? To be a surgeon. It was my life. And one night in the laboratory there, 
There was an accident. I wet him. I heard a power. This liquid that he's pumped into me. Does it have NutraSweet? My brain burns with it. Paul Newman's saccharoni sauce. That thing inside an iron touch. Hmm. Want me to prove it? You can prove nothing. You're powerless. Show you how powerless I am. Alakazam, huzzah! Oh, well. Hmm. You. Behind that door. Marilyn Chambers? Master Locks. Why, you're a freak, a super freak, you're super freaky. Let me know if you hear me. inka dinka hmm. Whoever, whatever you are. Please, I'm a whoever. I command you. Ow! You understand me. I'm only a head. That can't say no. And you're whatever you are. Well, I'm more than a head, I'll tell you that right now. Together we're strong, more powerful than any of them. We are part of the Rhythm Nation. <laughs> we'll have to we'll start dinner the spaghetti. And... <laughs> Back to the unearthly set. What are you running from? What's wrong with you? <gasps> Can I take Friday off? <laughs> it's you. Something wrong, something beyond control in that room. Shag carpeting? Nothing beyond my control. She's alive, and I'll keep her alive until I find her a body. You've been heading to my chick's head. I can't talk anymore. I'm tired. I've got to go to sleep. And you... you didn't find her a body? Well, I've got to be careful. I can't afford to be identified as the last person seen with a girl before she disappears. Smart. Do you think you'll get one? I'm calling Nicole Eggert tomorrow. From Baywatch. There are many things left for tomorrow. And with that cryptic comment, I'm going to bed. Morning. It's a sleazy morning out there. You're listening to Cape Horn, Holmes and Reams in the morning. Sleazy, slutty music all morning long. Here's one from Skinny and the Sweat Babies. What kind of town is this? I want to move there right now. No, I'm keeping my body. Thanks anyway. Oh, look at that house. It's a modified kid cop. This block is happening. It's a little sick, isn't it? Faye Dunaway. Pay dirt. Well, at least he's not arousing suspicion. <laughs> Hey, whoa, whoa, back off! Hey, whoa, what are you doing? I was about to call a cop the way you were looking me over. How have you been, Bill? Oh, just fine, Donna. I haven't seen you for quite a while. Too long. I'm still waiting for that call you once promised me. Well, you know how it is with interns. All work. All work and no play even makes for dull doctors. Mm -hmm. You're gonna lose that bedside manner of yours. Oh, yeah, right. Would you mind if I cut your hey, head off? How's that little side course in anatomy? Yours? Anytime. That one. A body beautiful contest. You know, bathing suit models. Plenty of females on the hoof. <gasps> That's it. Get in, get in. Day. Well, why not? You're just what the doctor ordered. Come on, jump in. Oh, you already are in. Oh, you're friendly. Uh, on second thought, I just remembered I've got to stop by my place and take care of a few things. It'll only take a minute. You don't mind, do you? I always follow the doctor's orders. Anything you prescribe, I'll take. <laughs> Medical. That's what I like about you, Donna. Always so obliging. Now, uh, what's Millie Helper doing here? Hey, Donna, where are you going? What's the hurry? Hi, Jeannie. We're going to look for some bodies. No, shh. Oh. Got any room for me? Oh, sure, plenty. Bill, this is Jeannie Reynolds. Jeannie, this is Dr. Hi. Bill Porter. Hello. Hop in, but first we got to stop off at his place. Sure. Could you just drop me off at my Minnie Mouse audition? Boy, that high karate really works. Hmm, no, next too thin. Dang. Well, as a matter of fact, I can wait. Now that there's two of you, we'll have to wait. <laughs> you think there's safety in numbers? Well, this time there is. He promised not to hurt you. And I promise not to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Frank and Hooker? <laughs> what? 
Huh? Huh? Well, Sounds like there's a horse in there. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a little thing old lads have contributed to it. <laughs> yes. Well, it looks like we're about ready to go. Backstage are five of the girls who have reached the contest final. And we are here to choose Miss Body Beautiful. So no goofing off. We've eliminated everyone except the five finalists, and they will be judged solely by your applause. So let's bring them on. First, funny man Morty Gunty. Helen Appleton. Miss Chestular Region. All this can be yours if the price is right. He's the discriminating shopper. Mm, I can't get attached to the first one. I've got a shop. Look at all she does. Make her huff. Betty Robson. Jane Keen. Sheila McRae. I'm Connie. Wow, I'll take Sweden. Contestant number three slipped and her head fell off. I'll oh. take her. I'll take her. Terry Lund. Obviously, someone's sister. Hmm. Hey, the Jordan Airs. <laughs> It's Jane Russell. I tried to button the top two, but I just couldn't. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> she has strange powers. Yeah. Hi! You're the second nicest body I've ever seen. The second to you? No, another girl, a figure model. You remember that one in school years ago? The one who had the accident. She over-tweezed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doris, uh... Doris Powell. Yeah, she's still around? Few people see her nowadays. Help me, I'm in another dimension! <laughs> Help me, I'm still here, I can't get out! It's like a Johnny Hodges siren. <laughs> Stay tuned for the obscene call of the day on K Porn. I'll build a stairway to paradise. Oh, God. How long have I been climbing these stairs? I'm exhausted. Well, no women on the roof. Don't want another dimension uh, again. Help me, I'll take back. I'm not going to get that. Oh. Oh, this must be Pottersville. <laughs> Say, can you be a little stiffer and less appealing? Uncle Fester. <gasps> Quick, boys, she doesn't do this one very often. Oh, yeah. Another dimension again, what's oh, happening to me? Oh, 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 well oh, she's doing a number four. Hey, Belle, come on and grab a camera. There's a whole pile of them over there. Let's see, I see Steiglitz and Ansel Adams and Kenny Rogers. We're taking pictures of Betty Rubble. I just had a great Kodak moment. Okay, boys, I've had it for two Come on, baby, one more. Just one more, please. Another five minutes, baby. Time's just about up anyway. Okay. Um, someone cut off the bottom of your robe. Hey, is that guy the next model? I'm not photographing him. And now, Mel Blanc makes his move. You're going out with me, varmint. Hey, Doris, would you like to have a drink with me? Just you and me, away from everybody, someplace where nobody will butt in with. You and I can really be alone. Sure. Please! No, thank you. How about posing for me? Private like. I'll pay you real money, oh. real good money. Oh. Kind of money they don't throw at you every day, and for doing hardly nothing at all. I do my posing for classes only, Wednesdays and Saturdays, 8 to 10. Yeah. Oh, but we can... Good night. Oh, well, can I chain you to my radiator? Uh, oh, no. Have a drink with James Finlayson. and oh. Well, after hearing you say no to his request, mine's going to sound really bad. See it all, Mister. The show's over. Hmm. Next time, bring a camera and buy a ticket. I'm not running a charity. You don't remember me, do you, Doris? I'm from the March of Dimes. Every guy on the May gives me that same tired line. I'm Bill Courtner. I'm a doctor. I'd like to lop your head off. Oh, well, that's new. <laughs> Bill Courtner. Long time ago, that fight. 
the thriller he in Manila? that wise guy apart for making fun of me. After my accident. Look, uh, can't we go somewhere and talk? No, I don't date men. Because I pose like I do. Your mind works overtime. You get ideas. You're all alike. Well, thank you very much. Oh, not all of us. I'm not on the make for you. Okay, so maybe you're better than most. Maybe not. I still hate all men. Except Danny Most. He's funny. What one did to me once. Have you forgotten? Well, have you? No, I haven't. No, I haven't forgotten. No, I haven't. Neither have I. I carry the memory around with me. In a little bag. You want to see it? You can't hide yourself away here forever. Posing bare in front of a bunch of neurotics. Listen, Galahad. I trusted a man once, all the way. For Jack. What did he get me? He gets his head full of jealous lies, and I you get. You got to forget what How happened. can I forget? You're no man to I me, Mister. Carry the memory around with me. That's the last time I get in a car with Monty Clift. I'll tell you that. Mortician's wax. Am I so appealing to you now? Still so interesting. Look, lady, I got a girlfriend with her head in a lasagna pan. I've seen it all. Doesn't it make you sick? May I play with it? Hmm. You don't even turn away from me. Like everyone else does. Let's see, I'll start the incision here. To me, you're not ugly. I see only beauty in you. You have a lovely body and a face that can be made beautiful again also. Who you are is irrelevant. I've heard that song before. Mm -hmm. I'm a doctor, I know. Ooh. My father's one of the leading plastic surgeons. If anyone can help you, we can. I know I can. That's I've been to doctors. It's no use. The scar tissue's too deep. No one can help me. Uh, that was a few years ago. Today, nothing's hopeless. Not with radar! We can graft scar and skin tissue. That Pop rivet new heads we can right even on. Freeze areas of the skin. And sand away damaged skin tissues. We've got little gnomes that go in and take care of it. The way you say that, that look in your eyes. I almost want to believe you. I almost want to believe you. Well, then start believing, hmm? That you'll be decapitated, dear. Oh, you're ashing on my robe. How about it? Come on. You want to believe it. You want to believe it. There's a place for us. Even if your father could help me, I couldn't pay him the kind of money it would take. Don't talk about money. He does a lot of work without any charge. What's money? We'll make our own money. We can use your scar tissue. I... Why should you want to do this for me? <laughs> What's in it for you? <laughs> I'm going to make your face beautiful again. Cut it off and give your body away. Hmm? <laughs> I just thought of a funny <laughs> carrot top bit I saw. I'm it's sorry. happening again! Ah! I have been knocked around so many times. What's one more? I've lost count. She must have lived with Ike Turner. It's tough living well, with him. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Well, because you've been battered around, don't go sour. You shouldn't lose your trust in people. <laughs> Not all of us. I believe you. I want to. And I believe in crystal light. Do you really think something can be done? Only my father knows. Look, we have a country place just out of town. He's visiting for the weekend. I could take you there now for a consultation. I've got you beer. You mean tonight? Well, if you'd rather wait till he comes back, if Oh, no, he no. Back. I mean, he wouldn't be annoyed being bothered with me so late at night. Well, you let me do the worrying, hmm? I'll do anything that'll help me get rid of this face. Oh, man. Oh, well, that's where I come in. You are one sick Remember rhino. Remember the last time I helped oh. you? Where are you going? Who are you calling? My girlfriend. I I'm in another dimension. Who are you? You know what the verdict's going to be? The calls are coming from inside the house. You're right. I, I shouldn't talk until I know what's going to happen. Hmm. My girlfriend, she's supposed to drop in later. I'll have to leave her a note or something. Well, just tell her you'll see you later. Otherwise, she'll ask a lot of nosy questions. We want to be sure first. Just throw something on, huh? I'll be with you in a minute. I hope these beads of sweat aren't giving me away. <laughs> you know, I'm good at this. Should have started killing long ago. Look what I could have accomplished. <laughs> Just 
Just tell her you'll keep in touch. I'll leave it on the table. She'll see it. Are you nude? Had to go out with old friend Bill Courtner. We'll call you tomorrow. Doris. That's what I'm thinking of writing. Yes. What do you think? I'll leave it on the lamp. <laughs> She'll see it, won't she? That's the first place she'll look. I'll leave the lights on for her. I just put put it on the lamp. She'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> I have waited so long for this. So have I. What the? Hmm? Look, it's getting annoying. Just stop it, okay? And then let's keep in touch. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Wonder which of us is more awful. Well, I'm going to take a wild guess and say you. Mm. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. Unless you were just a toe. Ooh. A head without a body. It's like a day without sunshine. A head that should be in its grave. All I need is a kimchi pot. I hate him. I hate him for what he's done to me. Can your horror match mine? We'll find out on Match That Horror. Well, maybe he's just in there building a shelf. Oh, That's sick. So the guy seeks out the woman with the scar and begs her to trust again, when all along he's planning to take her head off with a bow saw. Well, that's about the size of it. So then the director's whole point, if I'm not mistaken, is in this often cold and lonely world, don't reach out for love and human understanding or you'll only become part of a grisly lab experiment. Well, I think you're selling it short, Mike. There's also the strong anti-women message. But mostly it is a celebration of betrayal. Oh, right, right. right. But don't lose hope. No, 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 no. You can trust us. Well, yeah, I mean, we don't know you that well, Mike. Well, <laughs> enough to say hi in the hallways. Uh, right, but you can trust us. All the way. In fact, why don't you share something with us right now? Oh, perhaps an embarrassing moment. Oh, yeah, a shameful thing you may have done or said. It's up to you, of course. You'll feel better. You think so? I know so, Mike. Well, there is this time uh, when I was nine years old and I went on a walkathon for some charity. Oh, sure you did. Mm -hmm. That was a 21-mile route from Batavia to St. Charles. Mm -hmm. and uh, Go on. Well, it ended up at a McDonald's, and mm -hmm. uh, the plan was I was to call home because I was mm -hmm. still miles away. And mm -hmm. uh, Well, I wasn't thinking, and I, um, I uh, spent my phone money on an ice cream cone for oh. myself and my mom, and, mm -hmm. and I was too shy to ask anyone to use the phone, mm -hmm. so had to start walking. Of course you did. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped along the way because I had to go to the bathroom, but it was the gas station and you needed a key and mm -hmm. I was too shy to ask anyone for the key and so... Yes, Mike? Well... You wet him, didn't you, Mike? Yeah. So I had to walk eight miles home with wet pants and when I got there, the ice cream cones were melted anyway and I cried. Oh, oh. Wow, Mike, that took courage to tell that story. Yes. Hey, Gypsy! <laughs> you might want to grab a rag in case Old Faithful here blows again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, grab Robert Steve Zipper there and let's get back into the theater! <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to be that easy. Hey, don't stand under him. <laughs> we'll be right back. Jeez. There he is. <laughs> it's okay. Welcome aboard. <laughs> get used to it. Let's get going. I couldn't fix Strudel, because you've got the pan. I have come to feed your friend. Ooh, looks like someone's copped an attitude. Feed yourself with hate. It prefers food. Your former sniveling fear becomes you more. Do you really think so? This experience has hardened her. What makes you think I'm afraid of what's in there? Maybe that stain on your pants. Or of you. A mere head in search of a body. Is that a Pirandello play? I think so. People fear what they don't understand and what they can't see. What are you talking about? 
talking about? This is so bogus. You're nothing but a freak of life. And a freak of death. You're just a freak, is all. Why should I be afraid of a few knocks on a door? I like visitors. Last night you ran. You were afraid of what you imagined lay behind that door. I? Moi? Imagine all the people living. It was I who helped grab together the bits and pieces that were stolen from the hospital. An amputated arm, a leg, a torso. It was I who helped piece them together like whoa, a Whoa, whoa, you're spitting in her neck juice. Come on. And that same medicine that he spread to me to activate my lymphoid tissues. Hmm? Has he fed it to that? No. He feeds it science diet. No, on that he used an earlier formula. It wasn't as successful as the serum he's using on you. But it uh, was enough to allow the transplants to take. He's invented the run-on sentence. Oh, yes. Your experiment is successful. I will rule the world! Oh, then it'll be my turn. And what else has happened to it? The... Oh, what else? I don't know. Shut up! Well, it's... it's mutated some, of course. Jeez. It's changed considerably. Why don't you open the door? And we'll both see how it's changed. Listen, you. I warn you. You better stop pestering me, do you hear? I'm getting fed up with you and your insidious talk. Stupid little he pan woman. your tongue while he was at it. Afraid? Of you? This guy should just finish no. his rounds. <laughs> not anymore. But of it. Look, I'm not opening the door, okay? Nor of it. I think you are. Bark, 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 bark. You know, I keep expecting Ruth Buzzy to poke her head through there. Oh, that would be terrifying. <laughs> Keeps it locked in there so that it'll be safe, that's all. Safe? Lefty won't open the door. For me? <laughs> I'm laughing. Beast. I hope your pan rusts. I hope he prolongs your existence into a lifetime of agony. Then we'll see who's laughing at whom. You miserable fool! Dan! Oh, no, White Fang, no! <laughs> Not the custard pie, no! Uh-oh. Oh, it's Boo Powell! <laughs> I can't! He's tearing my arm off! Oh, 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 oh. Mm, comes off the bone. Guess you'd call that a farewell to arms. Oh, huh? <laughs> there you go. Good one. <laughs> uh, you probably got your one-arm jokes already, don't you, Jan? Oh, this is just perfect. What next? The car won't start? Well, he should just pull his real arm out from under his jacket. Oh, that hurt! Oh! Oh! That, that, that stings! Now he's going to oh, fall Jesus. into a pan of lemon juice. Stupid. Oh, I stubbed oh. my toe! Oh! Hmm. I feel empty. Looks like the father knows best house. Yeah, except for the blood. Bud! Princess, help me! So now he's going to write Piggy on the wall with his stub. <laughs> oh, I was going to carve those jade figurines tonight, too. Hi. I won that round. Advantage, Jan in the pan. <laughs> How am I ever going to tell fish stories? <laughs> Ironically, he collapses into an armchair. <laughs> she laughs too hard, she's gonna pop out of her brackets. Find it. It's gut check time. Oh, so much for my work with semaphore flags. Mitchell! <laughs> this jacket was a Burberry, I'll have you know. I think we need to talk. Jeez, Edmund Keene didn't have death scenes like this. <laughs> Move it along, come on. 
Women without bodies who hate men without arms, and the men... Uh, you know. So, you're gonna change my neck juice now, or what? The Ropers, the final episode. The money's in the... Well, this is my headquarters. <laughs> this is my hindquarters. You and your father live here? Only on weekends when we want to get away from the city. This place certainly is lonely. Hmm. Well, the further from prying eyes, the better. But on weekends, I mean, wow. it's nice and quiet here. We can get away from the noise and telephone. Oh, I guess it is. Well, sit down, sit down. I'll fix us a drink, huh? Sit right in that puddle of blood. My father should be back soon. You mean he's not here now? Uh, oh, come on now, Doris. Do I look like a maniac who goes around killing girls? Now you've got to learn to trust people. Oh, people like me, really. I'm sorry. I trust you. Now, can I take your head and cut, you coat, coat? Well, I can't ask for any more than that. You sleazy. You know, I don't like this guy anymore. That's Ooh. it. Any more. I'll be right back. With a Milwaukee Sawzall. Lucy, I'm home. Lucy, oh my God! I've got to keep still. Don't move. Oh, good one, Kurt. Kurt, remind me again. Why did I hire you? Jeez. Well, this is coming out of your paycheck. That's it. Six weeks without a shop accident. Now this. Young lady, you are grounded. I am putting the cover on you, young lady. Do this. Check for fingerprints. I'm impressed, but how? When I get that body on you, we're gonna make sweet love. You don't bring me torsos. Well, we'll uh, get you out of the traffic lane. There you go. You're just overtired, Kurt. Oh, no! I'm in another dimension again! Oh, please help me! Help! Help us! Hey, these are some cocktails in this dimension. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> To fly in a go hey, fifth dimension, how appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> From Hollywood's Pantages Theater. Wow, that was my longest trip to another dimension. You don't get it. Jeez, did you fall in? <laughs> I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. Forgotten you? Why, well, Doris, you've become very important to me. Very important. I put a little water in it so it wouldn't be too strong for you. Fine. I'm not a very heavy drinker. Neither am I. Should I be drinking before my well, surgery? Well, um, here's to your future, whatever it may be. I'll drink to that. Although it was an odd, ambiguous thing to say. You know, this guy's kind of evil. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's drink them in silence. Power drinking. Ah, wildly fluctuating nothing. I wonder if he'd set me in the front porch for a while. So my father was in the army, so he moved around a lot. I didn't fit in with any one group. I pretty much got along with everybody. Oh, I, I'm not feeling too good. I feel the trust and hope draining out of me. Oh. Time for sleeves through the night here on Cape Horn. It's getting awfully warm in here. Jeez, I invite you over, and all you do is complain. gloves. Well, God, how long does it take? Come on! While she's passing out, he could be downstairs mopping up blood or something. I feel kind of funny. 
Should I start stripping now? I love this place. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Drew, you put something in my drink. Oh, honey, it's just Snapple. Didn't you? Was it grenadine? I love grenadine. My mother gave me that glove with a family heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> Director. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know. There's a good grab souvenir for some lucky fan. It's your new body! <sighs> anyway, I kind of live out of my lab. I just throw that stuff over there. Don't mind the blood. I told you I'd bring you a body. A beautiful one. She's too hippie. She's got big calves. Be yours. Bill, you can't. Yes, I can. Yeah. I want you as a complete woman, not part of one. Well enough yapping. I better get at it. Is it a crime to want to keep you alive? Is it a crime for science to jump ahead by years? Here, keep yourself busy with that. <laughs> this kind of thing must be done. When it's over, you'll see. Look, in a week, we'll be laughing about this. I've got to hurry now. The drug will wear off soon, and she'll be awake. When she does come to... She's gonna blow her top. It'll be your head consciously awakening for her. Well, for you, all right. First, how about a Pop-Tart, huh? You're telling me you could say no to those? Well, I could. Put a Libby Land dinner in here, it saves time. I wish my assistant hadn't had his arms pulled off. Things would move a lot faster. I got some Wardex here. I hope it works in the whole head. You must be stopped. Like a microwave Brenda Vaccaro. You must. Who's going to do it? Super Skull going to jump out and bite me? Quiet here. Can't stop me. Very well. Ah, oh, oh, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Patty like Hurst. It. Oh, I think I'll shoot a little pool first. You were just out an hour ago. Ah, fine, fine. I'll just do my little operation later because the thing in the closet has got to go out. Uh, now, this could be the single stupidest thing this clown has ever done in his life, and he's done some pretty stupid things. Yeah. No. <laughs> Seems to be no need to move away from this door. I can see no reason at all in the world why I shouldn't just stand right here in front of the wall. You have a kind face. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I should have used stronger bolts. Pat Summerall, you betrayed me! <laughs> Ooh, Boo Radley. I think he's more horrible. Let's still go with the head. Mike, how about you? Um. You don't have to choose. Uh, this is why I'm under lock and key. I can't be trusted. Especially good neck juice today. Look, you know your business, but if you just move the door, you could kill me. Does this bug you? Does this bug you? <laughs> there, you see? Now you're free to kill me. You can even use the door if you want. No, having no hands really bites. Marvel, edges light quickly. Hey, come here. Buddy, I'll book you in Iowa. Come here. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. Mm, I thought that would taste better. Yeah, why the hell did I do that? There's one bad McNugget. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Can I have that pack? I kind of need it. It's my neck. Oh. He's got his lounging jammies on. Help! I'm in another dimension. Help! Help! Look at that. The mask is just tied in the back. Ah, it's nothing we haven't seen before, Mike. Yeah. It's got a soggy butt. <laughs> Hey, pal, what about me, your friend, the head, remember? Oh, you jerk. I told you to let me die. These men just never listen. <laughs> oh, I get it. It was a comedy. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Always leave them laughing. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, they mean the brain that wouldn't die. The end. So, you guys, we watched the cheesy movie, and yep. now what? We yep. just stand around being depressed? What the heck? No! Now's the time we usually open up a big batch of letters. Yeah, Mike, yeah, the thanks. love and affection of the viewers will automatically make you feel much better. Mm -hmm. Dig better deep in that pile. Yes, None of these are for me. Oh. The, 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 hey, someone's <laughs> calling on the head seal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, hey, everyone, it's Jan from today's experiment. Jeez, we thought you had perished in that fire. Oh, heavens no. I survived that ordeal and many others, too. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to call you nice young gentleman and tell you I'm feeling much better now. I didn't want you to worry. Oh, so you're not into that whole let me die, please let me die thing oh, anymore. Oh, of course not. That was just a phase I was going through. <laughs> you know, when my head was first lopped off, it... It was kind of a difficult time for me. Yeah, uh, you, you must have really gone to your head. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, that's not nice. Oh, that's okay. Believe you me, I have heard it all before. Those jokes usually leave me rolling in the aisle. Literally. <laughs> so what have you been up to all these years? Well, at first it was kind of hard to find work, as you can well imagine. Then I finally got a job as a doorstop. It doesn't pay much, but at least I've regained my self-respect. Mm. So do you get out much? Oh, you bet. I love to go out to eat. Hey, mm. I can eat all the cheesecake I want. It goes straight to my hips, but who cares? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no oh, and I love parties. You know, after I've had a couple of drinks in me, my Jeffrey says I'm the mouth that wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're married. Oh, yes. Jeff and I are so happy. Oh. He even bought me this new pan. Mm. I guess you could say our relationship has really panned out. <laughs> it's panned out. <laughs> so, I think it's great that you got a sense of humor about it. And uh, so I want to ask, uh, when you were in that fire, did you make your own gravy? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying? Well, it was just a joke. I mean, well, I fail to see the humor. Well, I guess I better be going. Oh, good one, Mike. You know, guys, the whole situation, being stuck up here in space, mm -hmm. forced to watch cheesy movies, mm -hmm. interacting with other life forms, it kind of bites. Well, you're starting to catch on, Kimasabi. What do you think, sirs? Hmm. Hmm, a head in a pan. What a fabulous idea. <laughs> well, sir, should I file the experiment? <laughs> oh, well, here we go again.
to tell me to blow if I don't want to. 